we start the recording so welcome everybody uh, we again today meet for mindfulness book reading and as we like to call testing the waters um today uh, we will continue further reading into the book by tiknathan silence the power of quiet in a world full of noise this is not the promotion of the book this is not uh, the promotion of the author we just use it to start uh, the discussion and test the waters and see what it means personally to us for that um the way it, uh, we do initially is that we start with a small 1 minute 1 and a half minute mindfulness breathing activity and then go into the book reading concept so i invite all of you to have a very comfortable position try and keep your back straight close your eyes if you want or keep it low focus and uh focus on your breathing so with the first few breaths feel the breath coming in to your body and going out of your body see where you feel the breath the most on the tip of your nose on the shoulder on the chest stomach or any other place and be with your breath in that place then with the next few breaths tell yourself i am here physically mentally i am fully here and i tell myself i am free free from the past free from the anxieties of the future in the year and the now i am free and with that freedom i hear the deepest callings within me and then i slowly open my eyes and come back fully to the session i stretch my neck i stretch my arms move around if i need i become aware of the space in which i am sitting and i also try to become aware of the mental space in which my thoughts are there we try to see around if we feel a new newness new energy we don't fool ourselves if we feel it we feel it otherwise we don't right so with that i think we will get started we are at the chapter of practice nourishing before this session what we had covered was the four types of nutrients that the author says we take in and all of it can be either poisonous or it could be constructive the edible food uh, then the volition the motives right then the sensory information and the consciousness and the consciousness he said individual consciousness and then last time he spoke about a very strong concept a collective consciousness 
and he said that all of these nutrients can either be poisonous or be healthy and there were three most important aspects that he spoke about while we take those nutrients first our awareness of what kind of nutrients we are taking second how much we are taking and i think as a group we stumbled upon the third one which is very important especially when we are not in the control of the nutrients that we take in is awareness of that that nutrient being taken in right so if we are watching a movie and there is a violent scene we are taking that but are we aware that this is a bad nutrient that we are taking so this was a this is what author was telling us and then we tried it with our own small activities today we will touch upon a small chapter on practice nourishing so when feeling lonely or anxious most of us have the habit of looking for distractions which often leads to some form of unwholesome consumption whether eating a snack in absence of hunger mindlessly surfing the internet going on a drive or reading conscious breathing author says is a good way to nourish the body and mind with mindfulness after a mindful breath or two you may have less desire to fill yourself up with distractions your body and mind come back together both are nourished by your mindfulness of breathing your breath will naturally grow more relaxed and help the tension in your body to be released coming back to conscious breathing will give you a nourishing break it will also make your mindfulness stronger so when you want to look into your anxiety or other emotions you will have the calm and concentration to be able to do so now let me read that last last sentence again it will also make your mindfulness stronger so when you want to look into your anxiety or other emotions you will have the calm and the concentration to be able to do so guided meditation has been practiced since the time of buddha the author says you can practice uh, the exercise when you sit or even walk in sitting meditation generally it's important for you to be comfortable and for your spine to be straight and relaxed you can sit on a cushion with your legs crossed or on a chair with your feet flat on the floor right and then we do the guided meditation we follow the guided meditation like we do in all the sessions by reading the lines or reminding ourselves of each of this lines all right so what what author is trying to tell over here is that in that sentence and this is where i think we should be skeptical enough and test the waters always after a mindful breath or two he says you may have less desire to fill yourself up um or distract yourself right just by two three breaths he says you don't you will not need the distraction and then if you keep practicing this like we have been doing for quite some time almost many of us in this group at least and paritosh and amina maybe in your own ways i think the practice becomes stronger so that when you want to look into your emotions while you are feeling that when you are having anxiety you will have the calm to look at it is what author says so i think today let's stop here this is where it kinds of concludes what we were reading so far in terms of nutrients and nourishing practice and i would if, unless you have comments questions from what you what we read generally or let's let's open up like that right before we get into the nourishing mindfulness for 5 minutes and let's see how that 5 minutes feel today um let's let's talk about it from what we read let's start maybe from the first one one and a half minute of meditation that we did how are you feeling with that how short was the time how how are you feeling let's start with that
paritosh i mean do you want to tell anything how did that one one and a half two minutes felt did it felt awkward what are the silly guys doing with their eyes closed what are they murmuring what, what was your experience of that one and a half minute what were you feeling yeah i used to i used to do these kind of uh, exercises a lot uh, and sometimes i still do uh, but i have uh, a, i used to have this uh, difficulty to understand uh, between the di- the difference between the uh, guided meditation and what meditation is so sometimes the uh, the whole understanding of guided meditation challenges uh, me to the actual understanding of meditation uh, as you know that that uh, in 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 our other uh, dialogue group himena was there and in start when when himena uh, got there and when we uh, were talking about this the difference between this guided meditation and the actual understanding of meditation because uh, you have uh, read krishnamurti and he has a completely whole different point of view uh, towards what meditation is uh, so as 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 you were reading that you know uh, the tension the anxiety the stress and the question uh, is at that point that what if there is no calm, uh, there is no anxiety there is no uh, stress or you know like like a 10 year old kid that kid doesn't have any kind of work stress or anxiety or tensions etc and if you that that kid is full of joy full of life and if you want uh, if you tell that kid to sit and meditate you cannot make that kid sit uh, uh in a you know in a guided form for i think uh, 30 seconds or 20 seconds because you know the life is so much uh, the the life energies are so much uh, on the high level and you know doing their work so so i'm just curious that if we can if we can explore on that a bit yeah so if i may ask the question again paritosh in that yeah. one and a half minute Yes. It was, was all of this going in your head what how was that one and a half minute for you it was calm it was you know it was uh, uh, there was silence because all of we all of us were in that in that present moment okay uh, you yeah you you were you were you were guiding in some sense about you know breathing in and you know relaxing the shoulders and everything else so the focus was completely there in that moment sure okay okay because that's i mean uh, and that's 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 the main thing and i'm more than happy to explore into other topics that the the pulse is what do we individually experience in that one and a half minute right so that is that is where the the fun that we try to find for ourselves right um and we come to those questions paritosh anybody else how was that one and a half minute for you compared to what we have been doing before or hemina if you want to add maybe it was first time for you how was that one and a half minute for you hemina Well, I think that I stop when you mention about that we have to well on the nourishment part because yeah sometimes you are eating and suddenly you are hearing uh, the TV or making other things so you are not complete on the present moment and you don't enjoy or you don't make this connection with your body. when you are receiving <laughs> your nourishment yes 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 makes a lot of sense yeah so so being aware of that um there's a clear relationship between your body and when you are eating it's a special moment it's a sacred moment thank you for sharing that amina elephant yeah. piyush naman so yeah i was enjoying the calm sorry elephant like <laughs> i was just enjoying the calmness but i got a phone call so got a uh, little distracted but yeah it was very calm including experience i mean i I'm, i was getting into that yeah. zone so yeah okay. okay. yeah elephant 
I don't know. <clears throat> I think my squirrel's a little bit active today. So I had to, I was having a little bit of difficulty getting in the meditation. Yes. Yes. And it's, I guess because of that, it seemed a little bit longer to me. It seems longer. It was than the other sessions. Yes. 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 For, for me, yeah, it was like, yeah, it was calm. So there were there were less thoughts going into the mind and like yeah it was it was short. It was short now, Naman. <laughs> yes. This is I think first time we are hearing it from Naman that now he's also feeling it short, right? It's it's it doesn't feel smaller. Okay, so. With that, what I would want to do is, and this is where again, uh, Paritosh, I mean, uh, maybe I'll just set the context of what we are doing next. So the next, what we are doing is, uh, again, there is a little bit of guiding meditation that I would do. And then beyond that, I would actually put a timer. <laughs> we would go scientifically into five minutes of silence. And let's see if how does that five minutes of silence feels to you, right? Can we go into the silence? Can we test the waters right here, right now as a group? and see what the silence means for us individually here, right? So let's, I would again invite you, and I start the timer after I finish the nourishing thing to see what that means. And I will keep giving impulses in between, completely feel fear to ignore what Jamin is saying, right? Completely feel, uh, don't listen to me. Even if you want, you can even mute the speaker, right? I will start a five minutes for, uh, timer and then we test what that means for us. Yeah, I hope that's clear. Then I would invite you to sit comfortably with your spine straight and close your eyes or have a low focused, all right? And with the first few breaths, bring your attention to the in-breath and the out-breath. Breathing in, know that you are breathing in. Breathing out, know that you are breathing out. Breathing in, your breath grows deep. Breathing out, your breath grows slow. Breathing out, you become aware of your body. Breathing out, you calm your body. Breathing in, you smile. Breathing out, you release. Breathing in, you dwell in the present moment. Breathing out, you enjoy the present moment. And in the present moment, you try to be with your breath and in silence.
if your mind wanders don't conflict with your thoughts gently bring them back to your breath observe the space between the in breath and the out breath smile at whatever thoughts you may get and gently come back to your breath then slowly open your eyes and try to come back fully to the session have a couple of deep breaths and feel the space in which you are physically present in the space and the silence in which your thoughts and mind are
how do you feel and how much time how how the how did the time feel and how do you feel Piyush? yeah for me i found something new today uh, while practicing this so i always try to keep my like keep my mind neutral uh, during these sessions but when I say neutral, I always thought like my mind is going deviating in a, on a negative side. But today I was getting some positive, happy thoughts. And I didn't want to come back or put my ba mind back to that neutral thing. So this this happened for the first time. And I, I just wanted to think about those happy things because that was making me feel good. <laughs> so this is a question also. I mean, if somebody does feel that, do you come back or do you just stay there? How do I know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so one more reason that I felt that five minutes were short for me, really short. It was way more than five minutes today. It was way more than five minutes. Okay. Alessandra? At first, I had to give the monkey a, a banana, <laughs> a good banana every now and then refocus on my breathing but at the end of my mind did slow down did become clearer and at the time it did seem again it seemed a little bit longer today than yeah. past sessions yes, yes. Mm -hmm. i guess i must be a little bit restless today physically and mentally The nutrients, right? At least you are aware of it. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know that there could be some restlessness, but only you can answer that, right? No, none of us can answer it for you. Mm -hmm. Naman? Uh, for me, initially, it was like uh, very less thoughts during the first, I think, few minutes. Then I think in between, there were there were a lot of thoughts. Uh, and then towards the end, I think it was becoming calm and then uh, it was seeming little long. Right. But yeah, so it was like divided. So first yeah. few minutes calm, then yeah, a lot of thoughts and again calm. Yeah. yeah. Paritosh, how, how, what did you feel and how much time did you feel? Did you feel it was five, seven minutes? Did you feel it was longer? Do you think the time was running? or slower what did you feel and how did you feel the time today i didn't realize uh, what the duration is of that uh, of this meditation and and i don't know if there was something or if there was nothing going on in my head so i was just uh, there was some kind of sound you were speaking, going on. There was some following in that moment and nothing else. How did you feel? Was it nothing? It was just neutral or what, what, how no, no, did you I feel in that five minutes? I don't mean that, I don't mean that uh, it was neutral. I said there was nothing. So so there was no, uh, no any kind of, uh, even if I, I'm not aware if there was any kind of thought was going on, or happy thought or uh, anything like that. Uh, or there was no thought going on because, you know, uh, if there was no thought going on, how can you know that if there was no thought going on? Because that becomes a thought in some sense. So I, I really don't know if there was anything there or if there was nothing there. So, and, and, and the breathing, uh, uh, you know, when, when the breathing exercise was going on, there was, uh, there was a relaxation in the whole body uh, and after i think after a few minutes uh, i don't realize i just opened my eyes and i was looking at the uh, mayur punk you know on on your on your i, I think it's a it's yeah, a wooden yeah. door or something yeah 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 so it was reminding me for a moment it was reminding me of krishna and, and right so it was good quite quite good Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that, Paritosh. Amina, 
how did you feel hamina and how did you feel the time specifically i didn't feel the time um at the beginning i have many thoughts um about my job <laughs> and then uh it becomes so calm with their breathings yeah. and i it's like uh there was like a in some way to say chaos on my mind and with the breathing it becomes down and then i could um feel my body in a different way i don't know how to express even i could feel my my hair yeah that yeah so that's all beautiful i think beautiful thank you for sharing that and as i as i always say um this is what you individually have found this is the knowledge you have this is the truth that you have that you take it with you and it cannot be maybe we can express and if you are good with words we can put it but that is something that you don't need proof for and that is your reality take that with you not the words of the meditation not the book not what author is trying to say this that you stumble upon in space let's be skeptical i mean author said two or three breaths and look at look at the variety of experiences we feel and the calmness that brings in and then it manifest into so many other things but before that this calmness the silence if we go closer to it that is giving you something and that's it and th and that's why i said piyush when he asked the question i mean i don't know only you can know it's your question sit on it right and and that's it that's it nothing else so at least i'll stop the recording um, so thank you everybody for sharing this space today it was it was very good it was very i always say this i find it very very tasty i don't want to let go of it and that's one of the reason i put the timer <laughs> and sometimes i even miss the alarm over there so it's it's extremely tasty feeling very tangible very positive right so i'll stop the recording at least for now